In August of the year 1990, a U.S. Navy F-14 Tomcat captured a Concorde supersonic airliner. Following the attack on the frigate USS Stark by an upgraded Iraqi Dassault Falcon 50 on May 17, 1987, everyone who stepped foot aboard the carrier battle group that was operating in the Red Sea became engulfed with a persistent fear of another attack. When the carrier battle group approached the Red Sea in August of 1990, its F-14 Tomcats engaged in continuous combat air patrolling over the aircraft carriers of the battle group around the clock, relentlessly engaging any threats that came into their path. In August 1990, the possible intensity of these combat air patrols was brought to light when a cruiser of the Ticonderoga class stationed in the northern Red Sea spotted a fast-moving aircraft approaching them from the north. Two F-14 Tomcats, placed on high alert, were ordered to go after the aircraft. The F-14 received a message from the tactical action officer, warning red and weapons tight. With a sharp nosedive in the direction of the received vector, the Tomcat quickly locked onto an extremely fast and incredibly high-flying jet. Since the F-14's TV camera set couldn't make out the name, the radar intercept officer in the back seat was carrying a 300mm camera lens. As the radar intercept officer told us, our AWG-9 radar was providing us with a significant lead through the steering queue, consequently, I glanced to my left as we observed a white control rising above our F-14. Magnificent Concorde shadows came into focus as I adjusted my camera's lens. After the plane had been identified as a supersonic aircraft, it was permitted to continue its journey.